And now it's my pleasure to introduce today's speaker, Amanda Izo. Um, Amanda comes to us from the Women's Women and Gender Studies Department at the College of New Jersey, where she's been a visiting assistant professor. And when she leaves us, she will be moving to the University of St. Louis, where she will be assistant professor of Women and Gender Studies. Um, she did her doctoral work at Yale, um, but I think her um, the die was cast for a life in women's history at, before she got to Yale at Smith College, where... Did um, you major in American Studies? Mm -hmm. Glad to hear. And Dan uh, Horowitz is here, who was, was part of that great education. Um, but she also served as a manuscripts processor at Smith College's Sophia Smith Collection. And all women's historians owe her a debt of gratitude. She processed the papers of Gloria Steinem, of Helen Gurley Brown, and of the YWCA, about which much more <laughs> very soon. Um, so um, she has given many papers and um, uh, done lots of interesting things on the way to the project that she's going to talk about today, The Commandment of Love, of Love, Liberal Christianity and Global Activism in the Young Women's Christian Association and the Mary Knowles Sisters. The project goes from 1907 to 1980. She'll be talking about one part of that project today. Um, Amanda, it is such a pleasure for me to have a scholar in my own field of American <laughs> women's history um, with us here to be able to introduce your, your lecture. So thank please, so good luck. Much. Thanks, Anne. Um, and thank you all for coming. It's so exciting to see uh, your friendly faces. And Tracy, thank you for the church supper uh, we have before us. And all that's missing, I feel like, is the smell of stale fish fry hanging over the <laughs> air like in the church basement. Um, so my talk today uh, is a piece of my overall book project that I'll be completing with the Women's Studies and Religion program. Uh, the book is entitled The Commandment of Love. Um, here I'll be talking about American women, Christian politics, and the long red scare. <laughs> 